He's a former minister of infrastructure of Ukraine and has served as a soldier of 206 Battalion Armed Forces of Ukraine. Welcome to the broadcast. Thank you for having me. It's a great honor to be with your TV. Today. Absolutely. The pleasure is same. Now, it was just yesterday that Donald Trump said that Ukraine is quote unquote demolished and its people are quote unquote dead. Why do you think the Ukrainian president is meeting him? Uh, I think it's a great story for us to be in this very important moment in the United States while elections are ongoing and both candidates are meeting Ukrainian president, paying special attention and importance to Ukraine. I'm very happy that all emotions are down now and we are focused on priorities of all our countries and civilized world. Priority is the only one, actually, that in modern society, in modern world, you cannot change borders of any nation by force. Only diplomacy and negotiations should apply. So I'm very happy to hear yesterday that Mr. Trump is going to meet my president. And I know that there were two great meetings between Mr. Zelensky and Mr. Biden and Ms. Kamala Harris. Right. Uh, Mr. Volodymyr, that prompts me to ask you, is it true that Kiev is dreading a second Trump presidency? Uh, pardon me? Can you, can you, yeah, sure. can you repeat you the question, repeat, please? Yeah, I was asking you if, if it's true, we're hearing that Kiev is dreading or scared of a second Trump presidency because of the comments that the former U.S. president has made in the past few weeks. Actually, talks between our president and Mr. Trump uh, are focused on having clear pick picture what is uh, behind the Trump strategy towards Ukraine. And we do understand that uh, it's a crucial importance for Ukraine to have bipartisan support of Republicans and Demo uh, Democrats uh, uh, concerning Ukrainian case. So I hope there is no, uh, we are not afraid or there is no kind of uh, misunderstanding between uh, Ukraine and Republican Party. And we do believe that all issues which were raised uh, in the past will be a result uh, in very good manner for both sides. All right, optimism is good. Could you tell us anything about the victory plan? Um, it's still not announced by president, so I cannot comment about that. But definitely the only issue that Russia will take uh, for negotiations, uh, it's destroyed the Red Army of Russia. We see that still Putin pays every cent of his budget to send troops to Ukraine to occupy Ukrainian territory. So as far as we see the battlefield right now, only when Russian army is collapsed, stopped, and taken away, negotiation will start. Uh, we are ready to talk about peace, but if opposite side is not ready, it cannot be a uh, one-way uh, talk. Uh, we hope that together with India, uh, together with the United States, all other our allies, maybe right. even China will join us, we will, we will be able to make Russia withdraw, to pay compensation and to send Putin to jail. All right. The president was on a mission to get approval for long-range missiles. We know that's not happening as of yet, at least. You have worked with the armed forces of Ukraine yourself. How crucial are these missiles, especially the current situation on the ground? Definitely they are crucial, but it's not the uh, 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 wonder weapon or it's not a miracle to resolve the situation in the battlefield. Russia sent more than 10,000 missiles to strike Ukraine and we are still fighting. Right. Uh, I would say that it's much better for the West to provide us with their missiles, limited quantity to destroy Russian logistics or manufacturing sites. Because if they do not do that, Ukraine will develop its own missile program and we will never ask permission after. All right, strong statement there. Thank you so much, Mr. Volodymyr, for joining us here Thank you for and me. getting us your insights. Thank you. All the best. Bye. For all the latest news, download the Vyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.